any aspect of this is interesting because uh, we know social determinants. We know we can find out more from our search history, social media postings, and and those kind of things. Uh, you know, things we read, Reddit histories, and that kind of stuff. Um, then, then um, potentially our medical record uh, can tell us, which is kind of kind of fascinating in and of itself. So that data, if that data was ever unlocked, uh, there's, yeah. there's, a, there's a wealth of outcomes that, that could be driven from it. Um, you know, I, I struggle with social media because I don't, I don't know if it's media or a social platform. And if it's one right. or the other, I think it matters. Um, right. And, uh, you know, some of this is, uh, I, I mean, Zuckerberg will say it's not, but some of this is just the increased scrutiny that's happening with Facebook. So mm -hmm. they, he gets grilled. He comes back. I mean, his response is essentially, look, um, we, we get uh, tens of billions of posts every day, and, uh, and, and there's just no way for us to review all of them, which, by the way, I don't agree. I don't believe is true. Yeah. And second of all, he says, well, it's really self-policing. So everyone's out there. They see a, an opioid uh, ad from a, a digital pharmacy that's not legit. Somebody will flag it. They'll review it, and they'll take it down. Um, the reality is with, with machine learning, with, uh, AI, they, they can review all this stuff pretty quickly, give it a score and say, you know, this is, uh, this is potentially illegal activity. They can escalate that stuff, have a team that looks at those escalated items and moves them off pretty quickly. The question is, should we, you know, should we do that? I mean, who's going to create the filter on those things to say, you know, uh, if it's if it's media, then absolutely. I want to filter. I want them to look at everything that's on there and and do it. If it's a social platform, I'm not sure I want them putting together a filter that says, "Hey, you know, uh, Bill just said this to his group of friends, but we find that offensive and away it goes." So I, this yeah. this is that the that fine line of who who determines what who determines what goes out on these platforms and then. Who determines how this data can be used? We, I think we can both agree that uh, illegal activity should not, I mean, if it's on there, it, they should identify it pretty quickly. Um, well, if people are paying for ads, like that's the thing, like a newspaper is not gonna, like thinking back to print, or even online newspaper, they're not gonna accept an ad from an illegal pharmacy. Or at least if they do, they're gonna figure it out pretty quickly. So going back to your point of, you know, them saying they can't police that, they're taking money from these, ads they can police it yeah you, you you would you would you would you would think they want to actually i think the, the thing that the thing to highlight here is you know you have they're the first ones to voluntarily voluntarily do anything twitter yeah. hasn't done anything yeah. oh yeah definitely reddit google yahoo yeah. uh thing so um you know we we can we can either come down hard on facebook or not come down hard on facebook the reality is at least they're stepping up and saying hey, yes. you, for this portion, we're gonna we're gonna do our part. Yeah, no, I agree, and that's why I was saying I was surprised that 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 story got so little play because it is a it is a positive story. It is, hey, we know people are doing this, and we're gonna try and get them help as opposed to just ignoring it or profiting. How much how much of an impact? I, I know this is hard to gauge, but I mean, Facebook, I think has a, a I mean, less and less of an impact on my kids. Clearly, they've told me that. Um, <laughs> but, um, but it does have an outsized impact on our community. How much of an impact them self-policing and take, taking these opioid uh, ads off their platform, how, how much of an impact do you think that'll have? I mean, you, as you noted, the, uh, uh, you know, with, with uh, total joint replacement and overprescribing, that's just one aspect of it. Yeah. But this is a social aspect. Will this have a significant impact on it? Yeah. I don't, th I have no idea, honestly. I think I, that's, the nice thing is they'll know. They'll know if people click through on those. Uh, and I think, you know, certainly if anybody's on one of those hotlines, but asking where they heard about it, like it's definitely trackable. Um, but go yeah, going back to the point of like, this is only a small piece of the puzzle. Um, the other pieces of the puzzle are, you know, starting upstream and also that, you know, apparently most people get like most opioid abuse comes from someone else's prescription. So it's not that buying off prescription to begin with. It's somebody had a prescription hanging around and somebody, you know, found it. So I, 
I think the good news on this is we're mobilized. Uh, at the JPM conference this year, uh, I mean, just about everybody who got up there, I mean, Geisinger, uh, Dignity, I mean, everybody who got up there had some uh, aspect of a yeah. story to tell on this. They're, yeah. they're laser focused on it. And I think we'll get, yeah. when it has that kind of mobilization, I think you're going to see progress. So I, I would say, you know, our, our flag that we're always waving is involve the patient in it and involve, like, we want to be, you know, upstream. And there's, like, some of our, our customers are doing things within the hospital to track prescribing and track, you know, possibly over-prescribing or really keep it, you know, do you really need to prescribe this? Um, but then the next piece becomes, when it is prescribed, are you tracking what the patient took? Because pain medication is always prescribed as needed, and no one's ever following up a exactly what you needed and so we we had that in there from the very beginning of trying to close that loop of let's not just say as needed let's figure out did you take it and how you know how quickly did your your pain go away after surgery because that's a really great outcome to track so as well as a secondary benefit so you're doing self-reporting i assume on we that. are yeah okay. But it's better than like what's happening right now, which is no reporting. Right, right. No, I, I agree. So there's no reporting, there's self-reporting, and then obviously pill pack and other things are, you know, digital reporting somehow getting back. Uh, not pill yeah. pack, whatever. Uh, Proteus, probably. Yeah.